watch Let's Make a Deal, I felt like I was the booby prize. You know, they open the curtain and they go, I should have taken the hundred dollars. But I am excited to be here. Like he says, mi nombre is Juanita Lolita. And I want to know if you can say for me, Juanita Lolita. Juanita Lolita. Very good. It's a funny name, huh? Si, sí, it's a funny name. Do you know what is funny to me about me having the name Juanita Lolita? I don't talk like that. <laughs> I don't even know how to speak Spanish. <laughs> Juanita Lolita is my real name. Thank you. <laughs> I kid you not, y'all, my parents did that to me. <laughs> that is my first and my middle name, Juanita and Lolita. My last name growing up, Mills. <laughs> Juanita Lolita Mills. Y'all have any idea how hard it is to have that name and not know how to speak Spanish? <laughs> Goodness gracious, I got my name because I am the product of a West Virginia hillbilly. Did I hear a woohoo? Yeah, you from what? Let me see your teeth. <laughs> the other half of me is a New York City Puerto Rican. So that makes me a hillbilly Rican. <laughs> All that means is that deep down inside of me, half of me does not like the other half. <laughs> it means half of my family came to this country on a boat. The other half was standing on the shore, shooting at them. <laughs> but that is a hard marriage right there, y'all. Hillbilly and a Puerto Rican. But I kind of think all marriages are difficult, aren't they? Do we have married people here? Yeah. Oh, this side was so happy about that. And this side was like, what'd you have to bring that up for? <laughs> well, let me hear the difference. Where's my single people? Let me hear my single people. Where are we at tonight? No single people? Wow, dating must be difficult in Provo. <laughs> I'm serious, because usually single people are really loud, right? Because they still have hope. <laughs> I'm serious, y'all. Being married is one of the reasons that I no longer eat healthy. It is. I saw this woman on TV. She was, oh, yes, you have. You take good care of yourself. <laughs> and if you eat right, you can live to be 100 years old. I took one look at my husband. I went and got a cheeseburger with chili fries. <laughs> That's a long time to be with one person, y'all. He feels the same way. Who do you think was driving the car? Because <laughs> people change when they get married, don't they? They do. Like, for instance, when we were dating, if I said I was thirsty, he'd go, oh, baby. Oh, oh baby you let me get you something to drink and he would just run and get it right look at her she's looking at her husband over there <laughs> but now that we're married if I say I'm thirsty he'll go oh, well get me something while you're up <laughs> true, right? it's true. before we got married y'all I thought he was Superman I did because there was nothing he couldn't do nothing and I still think he's Superman. I'm just convinced that gold wedding band is kryptonite. Because <laughs> ever since he said I do, he don't no more. <laughs> I can't even get him to change an empty toilet paper roller. Oh. Right? It's just a little piece of plastic with a spring in the middle. I said, honey, do me a favor. If you use up the toilet paper, will you put on a new roll? You know what he does now? He leaves one sheet of toilet paper. <laughs> Look at you women looking around at your husbands, right? We know, one sheet of toilet paper. What am I going to do with one sheet of toilet paper, y'all? I can't even send a note for help with one sheet of toilet paper. And that cardboard gets brutal. 
<laughs> You're laughing because you've done it. Desperate times call for desperate measures, y'all. They do. <laughs> it's hard being married, man. But he is a good man. He is, and I love him. He lets me go around telling stories on him, right? But I think it's a whole lot easier these days anyway to be married than it is to date. Dating is difficult. It is. And I, I'm sorry, but ladies, I think that men have it worse when it comes to dating than women. They do, because see, we women, we're lucky. If we see a nice looking man, it's a nice looking man, right? An occasional toupee. <laughs> but for the most part, we know that. Right? It's not like it sneaks up on us. <laughs> it's not like you're running your fingers through his hair and you go, oop, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ch 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 <laughs> But when a man sees a pretty woman, <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> right? In this day and age, colored contact lenses, false eyelashes, fake fingernails, hair dye, hair extensions, he don't know what he's looking at. <laughs> That's why I think we women should have a warning label. <laughs> Objects in makeup may be uglier than they appear. <laughs> Possible side effects include nausea, dry mouth, and diarrhea. <laughs> Trust me, you got to marry that woman for what's on the inside. That outside's going to fade fast, man. Once you say I do, you've got no idea what's going to peel off, fall off, flake off, or wear off. <laughs> you don't believe me, you ask my husband. <laughs> Every time he sees me without makeup on, he tases himself. <laughs> he says it's less painful. <laughs> I don't care, at least he's drooling over me. <laughs> but truthfully, y'all, I realized I have changed too. Okay, I have. And I was wanting to put a spark back in our marriage. And one of the ladies in my Bible study, she goes, oh, well, you got to do what I did. She had went online and got a fishnet bodysuit. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna add a spark to my marriage, y'all. I don't think he wants to see a sumo wrestler in a hammock. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying, y'all? The fat on my body would come squishing out of those little holes. It'd be like Play-Doh through a cheese grater. <laughs> the only thing that's gonna do is stop him from ever going fishing again. <laughs> and they also said we should have a date night. Do married couples have date nights? Y'all have date nights? Yes, yes. My husband loved the idea of date night. He loved it. Till he found out it was with me. <laughs> it's all right. But it is important to have some Christian godly friends in your life. It isn't it? It really is, right? Because my other friends, when I talk to them about my husband, their advice to me is, oh man, you should kill him. <laughs> I can't do that, you know? But my Christian friends, I tell them about my husband. And they're like, oh. <laughs> well, bless his little old heart. <laughs> I think we need to pray for him. <laughs> and then you need to kill him. <laughs> we'll pray for forgiveness. <laughs> Much better advice right there, y'all. Well, I tell you what, we have been married a while, we have. And when you've been married to someone a while, you figure you know them, right? You know your spouse. I realized this past Christmas that I don't know my husband. I don't. That man gave me a gun for Christmas. A gun. I guess nothing says peace on earth and the birth of our savior like a semi-automatic weapon. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but when you've been married to a woman for almost 20 years, I don't think giving her a gun is the best decision to make. <laughs> At this point, if I did anything, the judge would just say, eh, it's been over 10 years. <laughs> I'm sure he had it coming. <laughs> he gave her the gun. <laughs> Especially if I get a woman judge, right? Case dismissed. There you go. <laughs> 
Because I would plead insanity, y'all. Being married will drive you crazy. You know that. And you men know that too. You men will come home and say, darling, get dressed. I'm going to take you to dinner. And then you get that woman out to dinner, and it takes her 20 minutes to order something off the menu. Drives you crazy, doesn't it? Look at you nodding, right? <laughs> Ladies, we have to do better. I mean, come on. It's just McDonald's. <laughs> You know that's the truth. I know it's a special occasion when he takes me inside. <laughs> no drive through for you, baby. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Ooh, and if he takes me to the McDonald's that's inside of the Walmart, <laughs> right? Yeah. He considers that dinner and a show. <laughs> You've been there, haven't you? <laughs> but I have some advice for y'all. I absolutely do. This works for men or women. You want your significant other to think before they speak. You tell them you want to become a comedian. <laughs> My husband is so afraid of giving me new material. <laughs> He hasn't spoken to me in months. <laughs> of course, it doesn't help at all that I'm following him around with a pen and piece of paper going. <laughs> <laughs> you need to slow down. <laughs> I wish I was wearing a wire. <laughs> then I realized, y'all, I was wearing a wire. Victoria's Secret could make a fortune if their underwire had a microphone. Wouldn't that be great? When he goes, what? I, I never said that to you. Oh yeah? Well, let's review the tape. Agent Undies. <laughs> 0038. <laughs> okay, 32. <laughs> and I have a disclaimer to make, y'all. I didn't get this at Victoria's Secret. I don't shop there, man. <sighs> Any of y'all shop there? <laughs> right? One woman and one man in the back. All right. <laughs> it's expensive, isn't it? I think that's why they call it Victoria's Secret, because when you get home, you're hiding the receipt. <laughs> it's expensive. My friend said she needed to go. She goes, oh, we've got to go to Victoria's Secret, because their underwear is on sale today for $12. For one pair? I can go to Walmart and get me a six pack of britches for $12. <laughs> Of course, I realize now it's because the stitching is irregular. Because the pair I had on the other day, the elastic that was around my right leg was tighter than the elastic that was around my left leg. By the end of the day, I had kind of lost feeling in this leg and was just kind of having to walk like this to get the feeling, to get back in the leg. And then I realized, y'all, that's why the people at Walmart walk like that. <laughs> uh, you've all seen them pushing their cart, haven't you? <laughs> I used to wonder what was wrong. It's just a cheap undie popping lock right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's where they got the inspiration for The Walking Dead. <laughs> Walmart after midnight, y'all, it's the same walk. <laughs> same walk. All right, that's my disclaimer. I watched The Walking Dead. Anyone else in here watch The Walking Dead? One person, all right, all right. So here, here we go now, here we go. How many of y'all watch the Hallmark Channel? Look at that. Oh man, y'all, I have tried to watch the Hallmark Channel. My mama and my sister love the Hallmark Channel. I can't do it. I just can't. Every time I turn it on, it's the same movie <laughs> with the same characters. <laughs> Every movie that I've ever seen on the Hallmark Channel is this right here. 
Boy and girl grew up in a small, small town. The boy liked the girl. The girl liked the boy. The middle one ever told you so that, right? The girl grew up and she decided she didn't want to be in that small town anymore. She wanted to be in the big city. So she went out in that big city and she got that job she always wanted. And what happened? They ended up sending her back to that little small town because she was going to shut that factory down, right? Lo and behold, who's working that factory? But that same little boy that she liked, but he's all grown up, right? And she liked him and he never liked her. And like they never said anything about that. But now he's dating the prom queen and she and that prom queen never, ever got along, right? Because that prom queen thought she was hot snot on a silver platter in reality. She was just a dried up burger on a paper plate. By the end of the movie, he's decided that he doesn't love her anymore, right? But she didn't know that, that he broke up with her, and he was gonna, she was going to go home, right? But then she goes walking out, and he's standing outside his truck, and he's got a bouquet of flowers, and he gives it to her, and they live happily ever after. <laughs> Every movie on the Hallmark Channel. The only difference is occasionally there's a Christmas tree. <laughs> And my mama loves that. And she goes, honey, honey, how can you watch The Walking Dead with those zombies? It's never going to happen. That's how I feel about the Hallmark Channel, mama. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> well, y'all, I needed something to record my husband the other day. I absolutely did. He was out of town. I called him up. I said, honey, how's it going? And he said, oh. So said, I don't like this area I'm at. I said, I went out to dinner and a cougar tried to pick me up. <laughs> cougar. Y'all, my husband is 60 years old. <laughs> if an older woman's trying to pick him up, that's not a cougar. <laughs> that's a saber-toothed tiger. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And look, y'all, I'm not making fun of getting older. I'm not, I'm not, because I'm getting older myself. And I don't know when that happened. I don't, I kind of feel like I went to bed one night and then I woke up and went, <laughs> good Lord, how long was I sleeping? <laughs> Somebody should have checked on me. <laughs> really felt it the other day I went to the doctor and he said to me, I do believe you are menopausal because you're irritable <laughs> and you're moody. Hey, maybe. So he gave me a prescription to help with the irritability. And it's been working real good. It has. I've been giving it to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he was menopausal long before me. <laughs> And it was working good, too, <laughs> till I caught him crying at a Hallmark movie. <laughs> but I am getting older, y'all. I am, man. The things happen when you get older they don't tell you about, right? I can't lose weight now that I'm older. I always had a problem with my weight, but I can't lose weight. I don't know if it's because I prayed for God to expand my territories. <laughs> and I didn't pray specific. <laughs> I mean, I know my body is his temple, but I'm hosting too many potluck dinners or something, y'all. <laughs> there he is. And my husband's like, it's because you're snacking. He said, you're snacking. I said, I'm not snacking. I'm allergic to food because I eat and then my body swells up. <laughs> Allergies. But I'm lucky, y'all. He's never said one word about my weight. Not one word, but I am a little suspicious. Because he got a bumper sticker for the back of his truck. And it says, I love my husky. <laughs> we don't have a dog. <laughs> That's all right. Well, y'all, I am so happy to be out here. I absolutely am. I have been blessed. I've been performing all over the country. I was asked to perform at this place in Tampa, Florida, called Club Caliente. Any of y'all know what that is? Now, I know enough Spanish to know that Caliente means hot. hot. That's right. So I'm thinking, Club Hot, I better check this out. I called the manager, he informed me Club Caliente was a nudist resort. I said, nude like naked? And he said, yeah, but that's just the audience. <gasps> he said, if it makes you feel any better, it's a retirement community. I did not feel better, y'all. I do not 
understand why anyone would want to retire in a nudist resort. Lord have mercy, I feel bad enough my poor husband has to see me. I'm getting older, things don't look like they used to. But he's getting older and his eyes are messed up, so we equal out. That's the way God intended it right there, y'all. Goodness, I do not understand that. There's a couple things I don't understand. I'm going to share them with you before I get out of here. But I do have to tell you that um, what I do and what God has called me to do is I perform clean comedy all across the country in comedy clubs and bar rooms to give glory. Thank you. <laughs> it's all for Jesus. It's all to give glory to him. And it's called Stand Up for him. This is United States of America. We really need to stand up for what we believe in, in God I trust. All right, so I have to talk about that. Thank you. And um, I don't know if you're anything like me, but sometimes I have a hard time talking to people about my faith. As much as I love Jesus and I can stand up here on stage doing it, when it comes one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> I just can't do it. So my dear sister started making these bracelets for me, and I call them gospel bracelets. There is a cross with the nails to remind people and show them what Jesus did for you when he died on that cross. An S4H, because we need to stand for him. A microphone, because you are his voice while you are here on this earth to let everyone Everyone know that he's the key to heaven. All right? So that's what I do when I do. So there you go. All right. So I end every show with a list of things I do not understand. I do not understand why spandex clothing is sold in extra, extra, extra large. <laughs> Look, I know my limitations. I don't have those little spandex biker shorts, right? Just like I don't have a belly button ring. <laughs> I think if you have to lift a layer of fat to show someone that ring, then it may not be attractive. <laughs> Hold on a minute, that's in here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Oh wait, that's not it. What is it? So wrong, isn't it? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why we women do all the things that we can possibly do to look good for a man. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? If you ever thought about it, we do everything from A to Z. <gasps> Airbrush, Botox, collagen diets, emulsifiers, facials, girdles, hoisted, jerked, injected, kale, lipo, microdome, nipped, operated, peeled, quaffed, rhinoplasty, tucked, tucked, underwired, vex, wax, exfoliated, yanked, and Zumba. <laughs> it's true. You don't believe me. Just think about ladies' beauty products. Just ladies. All made Bonnie Bell, CoverGirl, Dove, Estee, Goody, Flirt, Hydroxytone, Acetone, Jurgens, Coraline, K Mary, K Noxzema, Olay, Pantene, Quest, Revlon, Sephora, Ulta, Veet, Weight Watchers, XO, Yes, and Zoloft. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Zoloft? <laughs> Okay, I realize Zoloft is not a beauty product. <laughs> it's a sedative. <laughs> but if A through Y doesn't work, it's Z, he don't care. <laughs> and we ladies go through all that to look good for you men. <laughs> and we're just happy when you take a shower. <laughs> True story. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for having me out here, y'all. My name is Juanita Lolita. May God bless you.